Our first guest is a three-time Emmy Award-winning actress who stars in the upcoming HBO show In Treatment. Please welcome Uzo Aduba. Hi, Uzo. Hi, everybody. Hi, Ellen. How Hi. are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Uh, congratulations. Since the, I've seen you last, you won the Critics' Choice and Emmy Award for Mrs. America. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, you <laughs> seem genuinely surprised. Yes, <laughs> very much so, very much so. Well, because the thing was that before my category, they had, I'd seen other categories that had people handed the award with a hazmat suit on. You know, there was somebody in the house and I was like, oh, there's nobody here. So, <laughs> yeah, that guy. So I was like, um, I didn't think that it was happening. I was like, oh, somebody has a person with a hazmat suit in their house, you know, ready to hand them the award. So when they said it, I was like, I could not stop saying, wow, I couldn't believe it. So the guy with a hazmat or woman with a hazmat suit was somewhere hiding in your yard. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Not creepy at all for someone walking by, walking their dog to see a person in a hazmat suit outside of your house. Not, a, not in New York. Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> So I heard your mother interrupted an interview you were having uh, by accident, obviously. Yes, um, that was her second. That was actually the first time um, I was doing this. Uh, I was doing this interview, um, you know, because of COVID. I was coming over to, you know, make sure to drop off groceries and things like this. And she, I was in the house, and the interview wound up timing while I was there. And I said, "Mom, okay, I'm going downstairs. I have to get on this Zoom." Do you need anything? Do you want anything? I just have to jump and do this thing really quick. She's like, I'm fine. I'm just watching my movie. And I was like, okay, great. And she was sitting upstairs and I was talking and having, you know, great conversation. And then out of nowhere, and I don't even know if my mom ever did this before or again in this movie, because she's like loves this movie. And she just suddenly like screamed in the middle of the interview. She's like, ah, and I was like <laughs> mid talking. And you know, like that moment where it's like, I don't know what to do exactly because I know I'm supposed, and then I realized she, I could hear her like cheering about the movie in the background. And I was like, oh, she's like cheering this woman on in the background. And I was, I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. I was just like. She was herself. That was powerful when somebody's um, just totally honest, innocent, open. Um, definitely my mom was watching TV upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that it was kind of uh, disconcerting for, for both of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yes. it's good to know she's going to need to do a lot more than that to get your attention if, you, if she's in trouble. <laughs> yeah. You're just going to always assume she's watching a movie. I saw she a was. It was fried green tomatoes. <laughs> I saw a picture of your doggie. Um, this is some kind of terrier, right? What did you get? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my dog, Fenway Bark. Um, <laughs> Um, he's an Airedale Terrier. That and is, that's him. yes. He loves a yoga mat. I don't know why, but anytime I put a yoga mat, he is down on there. That's him with his little band. Um, he's the best. This is my first dog ever in my life. Um, he's awesome. Well, Portia's gonna be so jealous. She loves those kind of dogs. That's the cutest thing. So congratulations, that's a precious dog. Um, and you got to do something really cool. So you said before you turned 40, you wanted to go to Antarctica, and you did. How was yeah. that? Oh, it was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. It was so gorgeous, so quiet. I've never been somewhere so quiet in my life. All these animals, you know, like, who come up to you, some of them too close, um, these whales, like, I mean, it, it was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. It felt like I was like what I imagine outer space being like, I guess, because I'd never seen anything like it. Yeah. And it was one of my um, greatest travel goals. Wow. That's amazing, though. You're on a paddle ball so close to those whales. That's amazing. That's you, you wouldn't you weren't worried they were going to, like, get too close to you to capsize you. <laughs> at the beginning, I think the first, at the beginning, but I mean, they just felt like, 
they knew your space or something, which I'm probably just assuming because I don't speak well, but they just <laughs> felt like they knew how to sort of stay around, you know, like away from you. But um, no, there was well, no, there was no problem. Absolutely beautiful. Um, all right, let's talk about your show. Uh, it's in treatment. It's a reboot of the, the one that was on before, but tell everybody what it's mm -hmm. about. It's a show about um, psychiatry, therapy. I'm playing a therapist, Dr. Brooke Taylor, on the show. Um, and patients having coming in during uh, this new world we're in um, and trying to help them through their problems while dealing with my own. Well, you, you did a great job. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's really good. Congratulations.